Okay people, so today I'm going to be installing an MGW shifter in my 2005 Corvette. Um, I wanted to make a couple of comparisons when I was installing it. This isn't going to be a how-to video on how to install, but more like just um, the MGW versus the factory unit. So the first thing I want to note is how wobbly this shifter is. Right now it's in third gear. You can see there's a lot of play in the shifter. And the main reason why I'm changing this actually is because when I was running it through the gears, this would vibrate. It was actually a little plastic isolator cup bushing down in there, down inside the shifter. Uh, I called GM to see if I could buy that separately. I scoured the internet, could not find anything. I found a bronze bushing, but I actually installed it. It would not work. So um, I'm just changing the whole shifter, calling it a day. So like I said, the first thing to note is how wobbly this is. The next thing I'm going to uh, measure objectively is the throw of the shifter. So I'm going to start by measuring it from the same position each time. I guess what I'm going to measure from is uh, right here. Well, let's call it right there. That way that's a point of intersection to where it says the number one on the shifter. Right now it's in third gear. It looks like we've got about four inches and three sixteenths to the center of the one. So let's pull it back to fourth gear, measure the same distance. It looks like we've got eight and nine sixteenths. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and swap the shifter out and then do a comparison afterwards, see how wobbly this is and see how much throw we get. And I'll do the math later on um, how far the actual throw is. And I'll update you with that. So I just wanted to lay down the two shifters side by side so you could see factory versus the MGW unit. A couple of things I wanted to note, really big differences, is this has rubber bushings on the base model. I heard the Z06 does not have that. But the new shifter does not obviously have um, the rubber bushings on it. It's actually metal. Um, this is like a cast aluminum. This is all CNC aluminum here. This has like a, a little ball joint and actually has some slop in it. This here actually has, um, if you look through the bottom, a little two degree of freedom uh, rotational unit on two different axles. So that's actually superior, in my opinion, to this little one uh, ball unit there. So that does not allow any play. Um, you will be reusing this little shaft here that's going to go um, in the lower shifter box, and you can see all the instructions on the website on how to do that. But I just wanted to note the big differences between the factory unit and this unit here. Um, another big thing is uh, this got rubber bushings in it here. And this has these bushings, which are a whole lot more durable. Okay, so I've got the MGW shifter all installed. And I want to just kind of show you the differences in the shifter itself. So as you can see, it's a lot tighter than it was before. And the throw feels considerably shorter as well. I took the car for a drive the other night. Everything felt really good, nice and tight. But let's see what that actual throw has come down to. Measuring from the same point to the same point. Looks like we're at five inches right there. Going from third to fourth, we're going to be at, looks like eight inches. I'm sorry, there's a glare there and it's hard to read. Uh, eight inches and let's call that one eighth. So I'll do the math and post that up at the end of the video.